everybody, Suzanne Cummins St. Clair with Donnie Christian's Hypnosis, and today's subject is, is there more I should be concerned about with my daughter's sexting, or is it just innocent behavior? Let me tell you something, folks. It is only the beginning. It's sort of like when men in particular get involved with pornography on the internet. It starts innocently enough, and the pornographers know exactly how to entrap their viewers to seeing more and more lewd photos. First, of sexual behavior that is rather, shall we say, exploitive and painful to the average woman. And then it goes into child porn and then sometimes bestiality. And I know this because I work with sex addicts who have told me that they didn't even understand why they were being attracted in this way. And it has everything to do with how the pixels and the light flashing on the computer screens work to change the brains of the viewer. So what do you need to be concerned about here? Well, what you need to be concerned about is that sexting is the gateway to having your daughter get involved with strange men she doesn't know, first online, and in some cases they start meeting up. And in one case, the young woman, 16-year-old kid, she wasn't even 16 when she started this, bringing these strange men into her parents' home. How do I know? Because her father contacted me to stop that behavior. And it can be stopped. However, you need to understand that these are addictions, both through the phone and the actual sexual behavior in the sexting. It's all addictive. So we need to handle it from a perspective. If we're going to end it, along with building up her self-esteem so she no longer wants to do this behavior. There may have been a time when she didn't feel she was getting the attention that she needed from her father. Maybe the father had to work very many hours, such as the case with this gentleman who called for help with his daughter. He's working out in the field five days a week all over the country and coming home and sleeping for the two weekend days, so she never really had any time with him. So it makes sense that she was feeling a loss of her father's attention. Now, this is not to make anyone feel guilty for earning a living, it's just speaking to the realities and practicalities of what it means to have a daughter to raise, that your presence actually does matter better late than never. The other thing that can happen is that a young woman could be abused sexually in this case. And I have worked with prostitutes in the past who got into the business 100% of the time because they were abused when they were little and they just want to get back these men and earn money off of them. So that can happen as well. I'm not saying this is happening with your daughter. I'm just saying these are things that can develop over time if this is not nipped in the bud. So I offer these services. I really don't know who else offers these types of services, but I do. And I can tell you that it costs $10,000 to have this taken care of in about four to six weeks on average. I've been doing this a really long time, 20 years. So I have a track record in success. Kids are already in the hypnotic mind up until the age of 25 for females. So I just use their hypnotic mind that they're using for self-harm and, shall we say, entertaining themselves to help them to heal. It works really, really well for that reason. I will have my contact information in the description below. And in the subject line, please write, my daughter is sexting, please help so that I don't miss the email because I get hundreds of emails a day, probably as you do. And it would be really terrible if I miss it. If you don't hear from me in 24 hours, just send another email saying second time around and then write, my daughter is sexting, please help now. All right, that's it for this video. As always, I thank you for spending your time with me. Till next time, be well all.